tell me how much relative motion you have available to you under those circumstances. Not a lot. Exactly. Move there you are. He's outside. Morning. Greetings. Um, so I had a kid come in yesterday, college um, soccer goalie. Um, oh. So low back pain was his main complaint. Not while he's playing, it's primarily during his workouts with pretty much like any hinging type movement. So like RDLs, deadlifts, cleans, anything like that um, flares him up. Yep. Um, he's a narrow ISA on the oblique axis. Um, can pretty much squat, like I was kind of jealous of his squat, like literally butt just hits the ground super easily. Um, so the first thing I was, I went like last night when I got back from work, I was going and watching some of your videos on like the toe touch because the full, like a forward toe touch was like the main thing that caused him pain um, in looking at him. Um, so you're talking about how you need to create like the posterior expansion initially, but then um, need counter nutation or no need nutation of the sacrum at the end to just get that expansion. All right, I'll stop there. <laughs> it's okay. So it, it's gonna depend on, on how, how he gets down there. So if, if you see a narrow guy, then his, he's gonna finish his toe touch and counter nutation. So he's just like expanding, like all, like if to think about it, like he's just- right. So again, so my, my concern is that, is that one, you're, you're trying to get a guy to do stuff that he's not as well designed to do. Right, mm -hmm. they're ask, they're asking him to create a pelvic orientation that, that he's probably not great at, um, and so so that's step one. So let's making sure that that you've got the capacity to move the, the pelvis through space. The toe touch would be a good representation for him because again, it, it, he's got to go through the nutation to get there. If he's having trouble with the toe touch, he can't access it, or he's having discomfort with the toe touch, then you you might have a guy that that just can't even access that position. Is there a utility in like trying to correlate the straight leg raise measure to the toe touch in that like, depending on like, at what point he starts to have pain as he goes down, would you expect that to be correlated with like to how limited his straight leg raise is? Like let's say he has pain like right when he starts to go down, you'd expect the straight leg raise to stop very early versus like- Do you ever have somebody with a really limited straight leg raise but they could touch their toes? Yeah, they're probably getting cheating at somewhere else. Well, okay, so 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 think about it. It's like so here, here's what he doesn't have. Okay, chances are he's lacking the the IR space to, to as he bends forward, right? So he can't he can't access the IR, but he's got to go through that space anyway. So how's he doing it? Uh, you get it higher up, like in the thorax, or just externally, like just externally rotate. So just create the stand, orientation. Stand behind him when he's doing the toe touch. Okay, mm -hmm. if, if you see the pelvis get wider, like at the hip level, as they start to, to toe touch, okay, they, they sort of spread out, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, that's usually the proximal ER that's taking place. I'll have to look at that when he's in next week. Yeah. Um, but but so, so chances are you, you've got a guy that does not nutate well, he does not capture the internal rotation well, and then they ask him to do these activities. And so he's trying to do, do an IR driven activity in ER. Gotcha. So, so if, I, if, if IR is the position where I have nutation and no rotation, think about how hard that is for him. Yep. Okay. Um, so one other follow-up question to that. So um, I did the exercise that I've seen you do. Um, I'm not sure if it was the right, but it worked for him. Um, so like the toes elevated ball squeeze, like between the knees and then like four bend as you're like sinking the exhale. What'd you just do? So based off the video, I, I gave him a little more access to ER or IR, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. That's exactly what you just did. So I, I get how the ball squeeze is going to reduce um, the concentric orientation of the external rotators. Can you just clarify what the um, like the toe elevation is doing for him from like a center mass standpoint? Why that's making it easier for him, and then also like what you're doing with sinking the breaths. Okay, so so what foot position did you put him in? Um, like more of like an internally rotated position. Yeah. Okay, so so where's the confusion there? 
I guess I just still have a tough time seeing how that makes its way up to the pelvis and like his low back where he's having the issues. Okay, so does he have to pronate in that foot position? Yes. Is pronation internal rotation or external rotation? Internal. Awesome. And then you internally rotated him at the hip? I guess so. <laughs> okay, did you reduce posterior lower concentric orientation? Yes. Did you move the sacrum into nutation? Yes. Okay. So what what is the what is like the the sinking of the breath where your exhale on the way down, inhale at the bottom, exhale up? How does that play into it? So um, is a nutation IR representation of the pelvis an inhaled or an exhaled representation? Nutation would be an exhaled representation. Where's he gonna finish his toe touch in ER or IR? So I guess based on what you're saying, it would depend on him, like, you know, like a normal toe touch, like mechanics. Yeah, like a normal toe touch. Where's he gonna finish? ER or IR, we just said it. The ER? ER, okay. Does he have to go through IR to get there? Yes. Do you want him to go through IR to get there? Yes. Would it behoove you to have an exhalation strategy as he is moving through an, a position of exhalation? Yes. There you go. All right. Yeah. Because what you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to create the opposing strategy and, 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 and literally create confusion, if you will, in, in regards to representation. So once he gets down there, I want, to, I want a, a normal representation of a toe touch, so to speak. So, so I'm going to drive those mechanics to, to the best of my capabilities, right? Yeah, so, so even though he has to go through the ER spaces as well, because he's already good at inhaling, give him a little bit extra, like a push towards the exhalation side of it by having him exhale on the way down just to try to make it easier for him to achieve the position he needs to. Yeah, if you're going to go through a position of exhalation, it would behoove you to exhale. All right. Yeah, so you, again, because so, so a toe touch, I'm looking for the relative mechanics, right? So counter nutation, nutation, counter nutation. So if I sequence the breathing, right? Because yep. what, what would happen if he held his breath the whole time? Tell me how much relative motion you have available to you under those circumstances. Not a lot. Exactly.